Hey everyone, Paige here with ClipChamp and in this video I'm going to show you how you can overlay a video onto another video to create some really cool and catchy effects like this and this. Firstly, you'll head over to clipchamp.com where you can create a free account and then once you're logged in, you're taken to the homepage. Now all you need to do is hit create a video and then you'll be taken straight into the editor. P.S. The link to create a free ClipChamp account is in the description below. Now to get started, you can either use our stock footage or you can import your own media. For this tutorial, I'll be using our stock footage. So I'll start with the media that I want to use as the background video by heading over here to the stock footage tab and then clicking into backgrounds. For a preview, you just hover over the background. And now I'm just going to scroll through until I find the one that I want. And I'm gonna go with this one here. Then just drag and drop it straight into your timeline. And now this is gonna be my background video. Next, I'll do the same thing for the media that I want overlaid or on top of this background video by heading back into the stock tab. And now because this example is a happy birthday e-card, I'll go into the events and holiday stock collection. And then I'm going to use this piece of content here. Now again, I'll drag and drop it into my timeline, but be sure to drop it above your background file. This is gonna ensure that it's the overlay. Both of those videos are now in my timeline and you can see they've automatically resized to fit the frame of a 16 by nine, which is why you can only see this one here currently. So now all you have to do is click on the overlaid video in your timeline. It will highlight in green so that you know you've selected the correct one. Then use the freehand tool to resize it, to move it around and then pop it into place any way you'd like on the screen. Now I'll just quickly trim that to make sure that it matches the length of the background and play it back. Now that's a very basic way of overlaying a video onto a video and you can stop there if that's all you're after. But let's take it a step further and make it look a lot more creative by adding in a few stickers to create a border effect. So to make this look a lot more exciting, I'll head over to the graphics tab and then select stickers. And here you can search for any shapes that you'd like to add in or any borders which could act as a frame for your video. But in this case, as a border, I wanna make this look as though it's a Polaroid picture. So I'll type in Polaroid and have a little scroll through. And then when I found the sticker that I want to use, I'll drag that sticker onto my timeline above the overlaid video and the background. This just means it'll be visible and on top of our overlay. Then I'll just quickly extend it here to ensure it's the same length as the other media. Now you can see that the sizing is completely wrong here. So using the freehand tool, I'll adjust the sticker to the size that I want. And then I'll click on my overlaid video and move it into place so that it fits inside the Polaroid. Now I'll have to crop it until it fits perfectly into the frame like this and hit done. Now that looks like a Polaroid picture. Next, I'll jump back into stickers and I'm just gonna search for our happy birthday message. I'll use this one here and then drag it into my timeline and pop it above all of my other assets. I'll just extend it to match the length and then resize it and move it into place here. Then lastly, I'll do the same but for a heart sticker. So I'll go ahead over here and search heart, drag it in, extend it, resize it, and then pop it into place. And there you have another really cool and effective way of overlaying a lot of different assets. You can add as many overlays in the one video as you'd like. So again, I'm gonna take it one step further and I'm gonna show you how you can duplicate your assets and create a side-by-side -side overlay effect like this. To duplicate these assets to create the side-by-side -side effect, just simply highlight these two by dragging your mouse over them. They'll both be highlighted green so that you know that you've only selected the ones you want to duplicate. Then right click copy, right click paste or control C, control B. And now you can see that they're duplicated in the timeline and I'll just have to delete the gaps that formed here. Now I'll click on this first Polaroid sticker here and then move it across the screen and pop it into place on the stage. And then I'll do the same for the other one, just drag it across like this. And now when those are in place, I'll click on my first video here and move it across into place so it's inside the Polaroid. And then again for the other video, just move it across and pop it into place. Then lastly, just click on the stickers and move them into place too. And the very final thing that I wanna do is replace this first video with a new one. So I'll jump back over into the stock collection and find a new content piece. Then just drag and drop it here to replace the first video. And there you have a really cool side-by-side -side effect and a final happy birthday e-card. Lastly, I'll export my video by heading over to the export button, selecting my video quality. And now once the export is complete, it automatically saves to my device. 
And that is how you can overlay a video onto a video with Clipchamp. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for our weekly how-to videos.